Okay, so Thursday. Um, hmm. If I don't have enough room here, then I will overflow to the other side. I'm going to see if I can manage here. Now this looks like a lot of work, but maybe not. Okay, so I see parentheses with a number outside, which means that number is going to get distributed, which involves multiplication. So I need to get take care of that first. So 6 times the 1x, and then 6 times the negative 6. And then this negative 5 here gets multiplied with the 1 here and the negative 7. And then this is just going to get rewritten. So I'm writing small and neat. All right, so 6x minus 36 minus 5x plus 35. Okay, now how did I get that? 6 times 1 here is 6. 6 times negative 6 is negative 36. Negative 5 times 1 is a negative 5, but don't forget the x. Negative 5 times a negative 7 is a positive 35. You can always check that on your calculator. Now I'm ready to box and circle. Okay. Now here these boxes can be added and these circles. In other words, the variable terms can be added and the constants can be added. So 6 mi 6x minus 1 or 5x is 1x. And then negative 36 plus 35 is actually negative 1. So, wow, that, that got short real fast. Okay, let me make sure I did the math here right. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to box and circle, box and circle. And this is where I would strongly advise, always do boxes before circles when you have a box on both sides. In other words, get the variables together before you do anything with the constant. So, um, let's say I want to get rid of this one. Then what do you do to get rid of it? You subtract it, and you subtract and then you get negative 1 equals 6. Now you can't do anything else with that. I mean you could try adding but when you have a constant basically go ahead and circle them and say wait a minute. Is that true? Is negative 1 dollars equal to 6 dollars? That's false. So this one actually has no solution. When the variable drops out, it complete ca cancels out on both sides, then you're left with two numbers and you have to decide whether they are equal or not. If they're equal then it's infinitely many solutions. If they're not equal, it's no solution. So this is the answer. Okay, now this one, guys, have the following have the same perimeter. What is the value of x? Okay, so perimeter means the distance around. Now this is a four-sided figure, okay, so you should be able to add four things, but I only see two things labeled, which means I need to find out what these other two sides are. Here is a three-sided figure, so I'm going to be adding up the three sides. Okay, so I am going to put the 3x minus 3 here, and for this side, x minus 3, since I don't have time, uh, room on that side. And I know that um, they have the same perimeter, which means equal. So I'm going to put one side equal to the other side. All right, so I'm going to add up um, the 3x and the x and the 3x and the x. That's 1x plus 1x is 2, plus 3 is 5, 8, 8x, and then... Um, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3, that's minus 9. And then 2x plus 2x plus 2x, that's 6x. And then minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. Then you have a box, circle, box, circle. Subtract, I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. Take care of the variable terms first. So you have 2x minus 9 equals negative 2. I'm going to go to the back now. 2x minus 9 equals negative 2. So 2x minus 9 equals negative 2. All right, we box and circle, add 9 to both sides to get the circle, the um, constant away from the variable term, and then you get positive 7, divide by 2, divide by 2, x is equal to 3.5. I will con um, continue the um, explanation in another video. I'm about to run out of time, and I will um, just add another video.